Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA video, we're going to be taking a look at 15 plus things you might have missed from the two GTA teasers so far that we've seen for the Cayo Parisio heist going to be coming soon to Grand Theft Auto Online on December 15th. We'll be going over both of those and some of the things that you just might not have noticed in the roughly 35 seconds or so we got from both of those trailers. So the first thing we'll be starting with today is the body that can actually be found with the briefcase. It's the second week of Rockstar's Clue that they've been giving for this DLC update. Uh, we'll be talking about some of the differences and also the locations of where they're found. So this was posted by Wildbrick142 on social media. He actually compiled this and it is a location and time map of where you can actually find the bodies. And what's interesting is depending on what time it is in the real world UTC time, which I'll leave a time converter site in the description, uh, you'll actually find the body in a different spot. So feel free to pause this video at any time. I'll also leave a link to the map in the description. And you can see there that it spans from the Del Perro Pier on Vespucci Beach all the way down to the airport and even in certain places on the other side of Simeon's shipping docks. So it's all over the place, depending on what time it is in the world. So basically, anytime you log in, the body is going to be at a different spot. Another thing that's interesting about the body is there's going to be different briefcases with it. Some of them will be like a leather, almost like work briefcase. Others will be like a metal briefcase that looks like it could have something a bit more valuable in there. So I don't know why Rockstar has chosen to use different props at different locations, but they have. And this body is also not new. This is the same body that Rockstar ended up using for the treasure hunt that was added a couple of updates ago. So this isn't necessarily something new. I don't think that this particular person is of any interest. And going back to the surveillance footage that Rockstar showed off, I, I think the only reason this person is here because their just name is John Doe. It just to show us that they were last seen at Los Santos International Airport and their known affiliations were El Rubio, who we don't know who that is yet. I'm assuming it's going to be our notorious drug dealer uh, on the island. So those are some things you might not have known about the body itself that is actually washed up on the shore. It's a very interesting clue and it makes you wonder how this is going to be connected to the actual update itself and the heist that we're ultimately going to be involved with. Now, a lot of people have also been wondering, well, what does this mean for the location of the island? Since the bodies are washing up on the shore of the Del Perro Pier and Vespucci Beach, does it mean that it's gonna be off the coast in that direction? And a lot of people have speculated that that is going to be the case. Now, before we get started, I think that Rockstar have actually tried to base this island the Cayo Parisio heist, as well as the map location itself off of a area in Colombia. So the new island actually appears to be based off of Pablo Escobar's Hacienda Napoles in Bogota, Colombia, as the entrance for both of these locations is very similar. Now, this could have just been an Easter egg on Rockstar's part, but knowing Rockstar's familiarity with pop culture, it wouldn't be surprising that they chose an incredibly famous and notorious drug dealer to parody in this online update. And that's exactly what Rockstar have said is going to happen. You know, we're going to be working with a notorious drug dealer here. And that's exactly who Pablo Escobar was. So it looks like this place is going to be based off of his compound in Colombia. But obviously that's not going to be perfect to where Rockstar could place the island in GTA Online. So I'm assuming it's going to be located somewhere off the coast of Vespucci Beach underneath the airport. Rockstar has plenty of room that they could do something there. Now we'll take a look at the island itself in a minute, but it also does make you wonder how big it's going to be scale-wise compared to the rest of the Los Santos and San Andreas map. And one thing that we know about this map is it has a big airport on there, a giant runway. We even see a plane landing in the quick trailer that Rockstar showed us. So because of that, we can actually kind of compare the various runway sizes based off of the three we have in game, Grapeseed, Sandy Shores, and LSIA. And because of that, it gives us a good scale of how big this island is actually going to be. So that right there should roughly tell us the ultimate size of it. And if it is based similarly off of Los Santos International Airport, that's a decent sized island right there. 
there's going to be a lot of little intricacies and a ton of places to go. And this is actually a close-up of what the map actually looks like here. And it almost looks like there's six point of interest. You've obviously got the giant runway right here. And then you've got a couple of other areas. Number two looks like it's the cove. One of these locations is going to be that giant compound. It's going to be that giant villa and mansion. One of those spots will also be like the shipping dock area that we saw. So you'd imagine that's either at six, three, four, or five in one of those areas. So needless to say, there's a decent amount of point of interest here that's going to make for a lot of variety. So that right there is the map. That is ultimately what it looks like. And some fans have actually drawn up a recreated version of what this might actually look like. And this is what they've come up with right here, which I do think is pretty accurate. So you can see the big airport, the giant shipping docks. You've also got areas where the villa would be and potentially even a tiny city. So it looks like this is roughly going to be what the map ultimately looks like, which is pretty exciting because it, it's a decent size. It's not just like a, a little island like you see up top uh, in Grapeseed. So that's something awesome right there that it looks like Rockstar didn't skimp out on the actual island itself. Another thing that we can see from some of these screenshots is it does look like Rockstar has reused a lot of props from the mainland. So you can see that there are two by fours, there are these water towers, there are these crop covers and silos, there are these sheds with sort of broken down rusty roofs. Obviously you've got oil barrels, you've got these posts in the ground, fences, all of these are stuff we've seen back on Los Santos. And even diving into it further, you can also see that there's like crop equipment, there's more crop sheds that can be found, fencing that can also be seen on the Los Santos Island. So you're going to recognize a lot of things that will be similar uh, from Los Santos that are appearing in this update. Now, one thing that kind of looks like it could be similar but is not, we talked about this in the submarine vehicles video, that is a different submarine than the one we used in the Doomsday Heist. So do not get these two compared. Uh, I know it's the first thing you're going to want to compare it to because it's the really only other submarine in the game, but they're totally different. Rockstar said this is large, versatile, heavily armored. It's going to be an HQ with tons of surprises. Very likely we'll be able to use it in free roam as well. So do not get the two of them compared there. It also looks like there is going to be a new Rune truck. And as we talked about yesterday, it looks like it's primarily based off of the UAZ 452, a 2016 variant. We actually didn't talk about what the in-game manufacturer could be. So it does look like Rune is going to be the one. And there's also in the trailer lots of different shots that we see multiple different times. So even though it's only 24 seconds long, Rockstar does show off a lot of the same areas multiple times. So that might give people a vibe that the island is a little bit bigger than it actually is. Like, for example, in these shots right here, you can see the same thing multiple times. So if you see something in the same color, that means it's the same thing, just you're looking at it from a different shot and you're looking at it from a different angle. So I know in total with the surveillance teaser and with what Rockstar showed off the other day with the official teaser trailer, that you get about 35 seconds of new footage you're not necessarily getting all that much new footage. There's a lot of the same images and screens uh, have been spliced together just from different viewpoints. So that right there is 15 plus things that you might have missed from the new GTA 5 Online Caro Parisio Heist DLC trailer and teasers that Rockstar have provided so far. I am really excited to get some new information on this actual update and how the heist is going to work and some of the characters involved and the way we ended up getting paid. I'm just excited to hear more from them. So hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. But anyways, if you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the KO Parisio heist DLC videos that I'll be doing here on my channel once the update actually arrives. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.